Dallas, Texas, and the Texas State Fair. A football setting unlike any other. The Cotton Bowl cut in half. 50% crimson, 50% burnt orange. The Sooners and the Longhorns have played here since 1932. Today, they battle for the golden hat and bragging rights, and the outcome of this game can echo for a long time. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see, the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the 14th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Sooners will kick this away to start us off. Return starts from inside the five. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The Longhorns offense going to get the chance to start this game off. And here we go. This is fun. An atmosphere unlike any other in the middle of a state fair. It's crimson and cream against the burnt orange. And Chris, for people who have never been here to watch this, you're right. We're right in the middle of the Texas State Fair. Big Texas out there. We got corn dogs. We got fried. Any kind of food you can imagine. This is one of the best settings there is in college football. Hoping for another chapter in this tremendous rivalry. They've been playing since 1900. Yeah, that's really what makes college football what it is. And I think all the concern with the realignment was we would potentially lose games like this. It's great to see Texas and OU still be playing for many years to come. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. And he'll just lob this pass into the middle of the field. Oh, and it's dropped a chance for a big play here in the early going, but some jitters on the part of that receiver. Here's a challenging third and eight now in this opening possession. Dropping back. It's yours. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. Fair catch made at the 40. So the Oklahoma Sooners offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. This wide receiver, Kirk, is so dynamic. It puts a lot of pressure on the corners, and frankly, the safeties are going to have to get involved in coverage today, right? Yeah, the free safety is going to be tempted here to make plays, but this quarterback has a favorite target. He comes up with most of the 50-50 balls. They expect to see plenty of double coverage and help from this free safety today. Remember, last time they played, the Sooners pulled out a close one. That was a heartbreaker for the Longhorns. You know, when I think of this rivalry, Chris, it's one of those rivalries that just goes back and forth and back and forth. Oklahoma had that narrow win last time out. You know that has Texas's attention today. Keeping it on the ground here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Linebacker shifting around now. And the Sooners looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They stop him after a four-yard gain, and it brings up a fourth down. The Sooners will have to punt this one away. And he boots it out of bounds. Not very long. Kick lands out of bounds. They'll spot this down around the 20. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Solid game there. Moves the ball out to the 32. 
Just a great play by the running back here, finding his lanes and then exploding through the gap when it opened up. It's a solid run, gives the offense a first down and a new set of downs. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Caught over the middle, it's Helm. They stop him, but it's a first down. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. And this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball, and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. So the ball placed right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. Looking to pass. It's yours. Quick throw to his receiver. And he's got it. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. But what a play here by this receiver for a big game for Texas. And, Chris, I think back all the years of Texas football going way back. And they've had some good receivers. And Roy Williams comes to mind. Devin DuVernay more recently in the slot. But, man, they really need to start a new legacy. And maybe plays like this can get them going in a new direction. On first down, it's play action. That's caught. It's gone. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Texas. And Kirk, how important is that to get off to a positive start to draw first blood in a rivalry game like this? Well, Chris, as you know, in a rivalry game, there's so much emotion. So to be able to put a touchdown on the board first just sets the tone for a big game. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And it's 7-0 after the PAT. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Sooners' offense is back on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. What's cool about the battle for the golden hat is that it's a wearable trophy. You see the winning side, they went grab that hat, Kirk, and they take a picture that lasts a lifetime. And Chris, think about it over the years, all the different folks that have been able to have a chance to put that hat on. Charlie Strong, of course, when Texas had a big win. Baker Mayfield, Vince Young, and it goes back and forth. And you're right, today, whoever wins this game, they're going to be quick to get that hat on. It's a quarterback keeper. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. The Sooners come to the line in a hurry up. Quarterback still with the football. No for the first, but still going. Brought down, but it's past the line to game. Really a great way to get this game started for this offense. You know, they told us in our production meeting, they thought with certain formations, they'd be able to get this defense out of position and hit them for some big plays. Here we're seeing it to get this game started. And the Sooners line up on first and ten now. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. Takes the handoff. It's Sacha. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. You've got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. Offense right to the line, playing with tempo now. Back to throw. It's Arnold. Running back has it on the screen now. Jukes to get free. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. 
A good time here to drop this screen in by the offensive coordinator and a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? No what it handed off to the running back. Stop at the 43. This offense picks up another first down. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. The Sooners are moving quickly down the field. Play action here on first down. Makes a quick catch. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Tackle made, but the sophomore quarterback showing us the arm strength. Chris, just a great throw here. Surgical and precise and doing what they need to do to be able to pick up that first down and keep this Oklahoma offense on the move. Here comes the up-tempo offense. Play action fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. And it's picked off! He throws it right into double coverage and pays for it. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive, and he ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style, but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. The back's got it. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the marker. Inches away. Love those positive yards on first and ten. And it's not quite a first down. Looks like it'll bring second and inches. But it sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. Offense getting set. Second down play here. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Tackle with the 35, good enough for a first down. Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. Makes the catch downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. Looking to throw. It's yours. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Now it's second down here. So Texas has the lead, Kirk, as we break here for the quarter. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. They've flipped into the field. We're ready now for the second period. Offense getting set. It's second down. Going to run it. It's blue. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. On third down, it's a handoff. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down.
Longhorns will look to convert here on fourth down. Fourth down, look at the throw for it. Makes the catch, and that is enough for a first down. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Well, that's exactly when you want to go to your little or slot receiver, right? He gets a one-on-one -on -one matchup on fourth down, has all that room to work with in the middle of the field. Get him the football on fourth down, come up with a conversion, keep those sticks moving. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And he dumps it off to the tight end. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Second down after that previous play. Back to pass. It's yours. Fires it to the wide out. He pulls it in for a big game. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything seems to be working. Coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. Here's the handoff on first and goal. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Longhorns. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The kick sails through, so the lead is 14-0. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Here we're turning from inside the 10-yard line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Oklahoma offense is back on the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. He's running out of time here. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. Chris, this one's on the quarterback, in my opinion. He's got to have a better feel and a presence in the pocket to be able to either check it down or get rid of the ball. You just can't take the sack. From the 15-yard line, it's second and long. We'll give it to the running back. A change of direction. And they bring him down. That's a very solid gain, but still well short of the marker. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here, and he's a good back. But I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. The Sooners hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. That is outstanding defense to be able to leverage this quarterback. That is a tough thing to do. This guy's as fleet-footed as any quarterback in the country, and to be able to bring him down for a loss like that is a major accomplishment. And the Sooners will line up to punt it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Grab down the middle. It's Helm. 
They get him down, but not before he moves the football to the 32. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. Passing efficiency is almost always higher off a of play action. And you see why right here. The fake throws the defender for a second, and then the quarterback was able to zip it to the open player. Off the play fake on first down. Quick throw over the middle. He's got it for a big game. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. The Longhorns will line up now. It's first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. Chris, down here inside the 10-yard line, these are tough yards to come by. Positive yards, good push inside there by that offensive line. Offense facing second and goal. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. And you'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play, they're in position to bring him down for a loss. So no gain on second down. Now it's third and goal from the two. I'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, great stop here by this defense to bring us to fourth down and decision time for the head coach. You go the easy route with a field goal, or this close to the goal line, you take a chance and try to get that touchdown. So on fourth down, the decision is to try out the field goal team. This will be a chip shot from just 20 yards away. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. And they add to their lead. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. After adding three more points to the lead, they're set to kick it off. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the returner is brought down. Okay, so here comes the Oklahoma offense back on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. It's a run. Running back's got it. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Hey, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Dropping back, it's Arnold. The pass rush closing in. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. They pressure him and get him the loss back to the seven-yard line. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks. You got to think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. The Sooners bring their punt team onto the field. He boots it away from inside his own end zone. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. 
the last possession they had to settle for a chip shot field goal and they find the end zone this time out caught over the middle it's bond and the game just good enough for a first down Boy, they love going to this guy in the slot don't they what a mismatch inside he reels in another one this guy's automatic First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And he'll set up to throw. Pulls it in. It's Bond. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. That completion makes it second and medium. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Pulls it in. It's Bolden. Tackle is made. It's a short gain, well short of the marker. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. To throw, it's yours. And he pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. Longhorns will line up on first and ten. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. Caught near the goal line. And he will score! Touchdown, Texas! No surprise there, Kirk. It's a red zone touchdown to the big tight end. Well, the tight ends are usually much more involved down in the red zone because of their size and their skill set allows them to be more effective down in this area. Now, they may not hurt you on the big, long throw, but they can use their bodies to provide the quarterback a nice target when the defense is so condensed. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff will see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Sooners offense is back out on the field. Backed up this close to their end zone in the final minute. Let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. Running back grabs it on a screen. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain. More than enough to pick up a first down. Well, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. I think in a process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. To the air. It's Arnold. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And they bring him down. Blocker is not much help on the screen there. He's short of the first down. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. They look to throw it here on second down. Looking for the wide out. Oh, the pass is picked off. Not much on the return, but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 41. Boy, Chris, he hesitated just enough to give the defense a chance to get in position and come up with a big turnover. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They've got a chance here, enough time to try to add some points before halftime. Looking for the tight end, and it's caught. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Boy, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and ten. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action, and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and ten. Down he goes. A sack. There's a nice sack by this defense, something that they've been looking for. They've been on their heels most of this football game. 
That time they were able to get after the quarterback and bring him down. Let's see if that can provide a bit of a spark. See if they can get a little bit of momentum going their way. I know the offense will call a timeout. Something the coach didn't like about this. Crucial play coming up. So just before halftime here, out comes the field goal unit. And he's got it from 58 yards away, never in doubt. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable. Gotta believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Longhorns will kick this away to get the second half going. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Sooners' offense is back on the field. And the quarterback keeps it here. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Uh, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. But I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. Second down play coming up. To the air, it's Arnold. Let's it fly out of the wideout. Incomplete, almost had his second interception of the game. It's going to bring up a third down play. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job, it's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. Dropping back, he's going to throw for the first down. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And they're finally able to stop him. A great execution on the screen pass. Fooled the defense there. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. The Sooners have first and ten here. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Not much on that play. Brought down short. You see, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. Second down play coming up for this offense. And they hand it off to the back. They get him down at the 41, but that's good enough for a first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. And the Sooners are going to keep this drive rolling. And looking to throw now on first down. The pocket breaking down. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Boy, the quarterback did it about everything he could here to wait for that play to develop, and there was just nobody open. It's great coverage downfield, and instead of taking a sack or potentially throwing the pick, he just gets rid of it. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Here comes the handoff. And the runner brought down after just a short game.
challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Stop at the 43. This offense picks up another first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Still searching for their first touchdown of the game, but on the move now. It's first and ten. Running with purpose. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. Again, makes it second and medium. Oh, it's a reverse. Fighting him off. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Caught on the outside. It's Roberts. The coach will decide to settle for three points here. Out comes the field goal unit. This is a daunting attempt from 54 yards out. Let's see if he's got the leg. And that one's straight down the middle. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. on the drive and now the kickoff team will boot it away they'll return it from inside the five they'll be tackled at the 27 that's where the drive will start okay the Texas offense comes back out on the field they were fortunate to get points on the last possession because of a long range field goal the game is two yards so it's second and eight with the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Scanning the field. It's yours. Quick throw to his receiver. And it's complete downfield. That gain is good enough for a first down. Ball spotted at the 42. Chris, a really great job here with the quarterback and the receiver. This is all about timing. Quarterback gets back, no hitch in his delivery, gets the ball out in front of the receiver where he can run away from the defender for a nice completion. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. On first down, it's play action. Hits the running back in the flat. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. This is not how you draw it up as an offensive coordinator. You get a first down play, and you go backwards. Now you're behind the sticks, and that play just never seemed to have much of a chance at all. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? It's a quick grab. And he's brought down, but hold on, there's a flag on the play. So what a huge call in this game. Wipe away the first down with the offensive pass interference call and back him up 15. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Play action fake. Looking to throw. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time.
after consecutive losses. You need a miracle here on third and a mile. And he drops back in the gun. Short pass finds the tight end. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage. Keep everything in front of you. Force that quarterback to have to check the ball down. And then you rally to the football to force his fourth down. Great job here by the D. The Longhorns will have to kick this away. Money comes for his second punt of the game. And here's the return. Returner brought down. Sets up the next drive. And the Oklahoma offense is back on the field. The last drive produced three points thanks to an excellent long-range field goal. Bringing pressure. Short throw complete to the tight end. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. A completion makes it second down. A handoff from the shotgun. Bites off a defender. Jukes one tackler and picks up first down yardage. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Play action here on first down. Defense is coming after him. And he's got his man open downfield. Tackle made after a big game. Once you can establish the run game, the play action is so effective. Those linebackers' eyes get caught up on the run, and you pull the ball, and you've got open targets behind him. That's a great example of using the run game to set up your play action. Still looking for that elusive touchdown, but finally this offense is moving. First down and 10. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Oklahoma. What a combination. This quarterback and this receiver. What I love here is the quarterback does a good job of not waiting too long. You're going to run out of room if you do. Got the ball out early enough, gave the receiver a chance to not only make the catch, but to get his feet down for that touchdown. The offense still out there. They're going for two here. The pre-snap motion from the offense. Looking to pass. It's Arnold. And it's caught in the end zone for a two-point conversion to cut into this lead. Team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Return begins inside the 10. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. Forced to punt last time. Trying to add points. Build the lead right here. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Off the play fake. Looking to throw. Launching it. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business. this offense fakes the handoff here looking to throw it he's moving out of the pocket now on the move but can't find a receiver and he's brought down well that takes the wind right out of your sails this offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback
The offensive line will have to regroup after the sack. It's second and 13. From the shotgun, handoff inside. And that run produces a decent game. Well, I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. The Sooners come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And the tackle is made on what's going to be the final play of this period. So Texas has the lead, Kirk, as we break here for the quarter. And they got to be feeling pretty good about things as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's review how we got here. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. And the first play of the final quarter will be a field goal attempt. And it's good right down the middle. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. See if this quarterback can bounce back. The last possession, a pick on the very first play. They start the drive with a quick throw to the right side. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Boy, wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Getting set. Here's second down. To throw. It's yours. Let's it go quickly. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. And it works. The first down to the 35. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. And the wideout goes in motion. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. The sure hands, it's golden. They bring him down after a short gain there. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. That completion makes it second and medium. Here's a quick throw off the play fake. And that gain enough for a fresh set of downs. Spotted at the 48. Longhorns pick up enough yardage to keep this drive rolling. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. Even with the lead, these guys are going to play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. Typically, you'd want to run the football here to work the clock, but these guys stick to the game plan and keep throwing the football, trying to get more yards. Caught in the backfield. It's golden. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. Longhorns getting set on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. 
physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit when a big hit to knock that ball loose. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now in this drive. Receiver in motion now. Caught behind the line. It's Golden. They bring him down quickly. A short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. The Longhorns looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Trying to run. It's blue. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Uh, you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job at eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. Longhorns line up with a first and goal. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. First and goal, handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. And the defense is doing everything they can to try to rip that ball out. They've got to get the football back to their own offense to have any chance, obviously, of winning this game. That's a second and goal play for the offense. Trying for the touchdown on the right side. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Nice job by this defense on that second down, so we now have third down and goal. The offense could be thinking about four-down situation. They need to put the ball into the end zone. They don't want to settle for a field goal here. Great job by the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. Scanning the field. It's yours. Running out of time in the pocket. There's no one to throw to there on third down, and now it's a fourth down coming up. Interesting call here, Chris, to throw the ball on third and short. Unable to come up with a first down. Now here at fourth down, you got a big decision to make. Do you kick the field goal just to add to the lead or maybe go for this here with a chance to drop the hammer? And the coach elects to send out the field goal unit. They'll set up at the right hash mark for this chip shot. And the field goal is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And here's the return from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, so here comes the Oklahoma offense back on the field. Tough to win these games kicking field goals. They know they need to reach the end zone this time. Nice grab. It's Anderson. Enough for a first down at the 37. Well, at least they're starting this drive off with some positive yards. They, they need to be able to put this ball in the end zone, get a two-point conversion, get the ball back, and then get another touchdown and another two-point conversion. So you're still within a couple possessions, but they need to get the ball down the field, and they got to go in a hurry. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Back to pass. It's Arnold. He's moving out of the pocket. Breaking free at midfield. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. These are the kind of plays that keep defensive coordinators up at night. You spend so much time putting your plan together to stop the pass, and then nobody accounts for the quarterback on a run. The Sooners hustle to the line to run the hurry up.
Here comes a first down pass attempt. It's caught downfield. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Whew, that was pretty. The receiver broke down his defender on that curl against man-to-man -man coverage. That's how you win one-on-ones. And the Sooner starting a new series here on first and ten. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Grab down the middle. It's Sawchuck. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. We've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. The Sooners looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Looking to throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Anderson. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him into scoring position. That's an easy completion for the quarterback, finding his receiver just dragging underneath coverage. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Looking to chuck it again. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Oklahoma. What a score by this offense. And the greatest thing, Chris, is they still left themselves with a little bit of time. And now you're thinking onside kick if they can recover it. You never know. Score the touchdown, but need a two-point conversion to make it a one-possession game. They'll try the option play here. They'll toss it to the back. And he will run it in. They can both the two-point try and make this a one-possession game now. Down eight. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. receiving team makes the recovery the hands team does its job perfectly and the Longhorns offense takes the field can they play keep away here just protect this lead in the final two minutes and they'll keep it on the ground trying to run some clock they tackle him behind the line a loss of four and now it's the defense that calls timeout here trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible the second along but you figure they'll run the ball here to work the clock the shotgun handoff here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. He'll hand it off. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. The Longhorns will send the punt team onto the field. It's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. And the kick bounces and goes out of bounds down near the goal line. Outstanding work by the punter. So it's first and ten inside the five. How does the coaching staff play this? Do they run the ball to get some breathing room, or will they trust the QB and be more aggressive here? Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. They'll crank up the tempo here on second down. The time is running out. And the offense wisely spikes the ball here to stop the clock. They'll get set, needing to score quickly now, looking for some big plays right here. On third down, he drops to throw. Grab near the sticks, it's Roberts. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. And like the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this. And Quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. 
The offense spikes the ball here, looking to preserve as much clock as they can. They need to score quickly here, trying to dial up some big plays. Back to throw. It's Arnold. Quick throw, testing the middle. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game in a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of this huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays that you could go to, whether it's a run or a pass, but you've got to come up with a first down. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. He shreds the tackle. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Chris, you got to be able to tackle better than that. Not only that, the missed tackles, he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. These are the fundamentals of the game, these missed tackles that could cost them the football game. We've got to get points quickly here, looking for explosive plays right now. He'll be taken down. The defense rises up with a sack at a crucial moment. 